Samsung is gearing up to unleash the most powerful smartphone on the planet. That's right, we're talking about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and trust me, it's not playing around. If you thought your current smartphone was powerful, think again. Samsung is pulling out all the stops with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But hold on, this isn't just about scrolling through social media or dominating your favorite mobile games. Samsung is taking things to a whole new level with the next generation of Galaxy Air. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to be powered by the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip, featuring Qualcomm's groundbreaking next-generation Orion cores. This chip marks several firsts for Samsung, including the use of 3NM architecture and a possibility of clock speeds exceeding 4 GHz. But that's not all. Get ready for another first, LPDDR6 RAM, potentially exclusive to the top-tier Galaxy S25 Ultra. According to reports from South Korean media, Samsung is gearing up for mass production of their next-gen LPDDR6 RAM, slated for debut in the 2025 flagship lineup. This cutting-edge RAM promises to revolutionize on-device AI performance, paving the way for the second generation of Galaxy A. And trust me, the next generation of Galaxy AI is going to have some really powerful AI features. To make sure it works great, we need top-notch performance. We're not sure exactly how much better the LPDDR6 RAM will be compared to what's in the S24 Ultra, but it could be a lot faster. Now, don't get me wrong, the Galaxy S24 Ultra's on-device AI performance is nothing to scoff at. It gets the job done efficiently, but with Samsung undoubtedly cooking up some groundbreaking AI advancements, it only makes sense for them to raise the bar with LPDDR6 RAM in their next flagship device. Combine that with the Snapdragon Agent 4 specs, and you've got yourself one beast of a smartphone. Switching gears for a moment, let's talk sales. According to reports, the Galaxy S24 series has seen a hopping 8% increase in global sales compared to last year's S23 lineup. And guess what? The Ultra model, as always, is leading the charge, accounting for a staggering 52% of total sales, followed by the Galaxy S24 coming at 27%, and then the Galaxy S24 Plus at 21%. Once again, Ultra reigns to Samsung wants to make their Ultra phones even better than before. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the camera. Rumor has it that Samsung is gearing up to introduce a brand new main camera on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, breaking away from the 200 megapixel sensor used in previous models. Will we see a new 200 megapixel sensor or perhaps something even more groundbreaking? Only time will tell folks. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on Samsung's quest to create the ultimate smartphone? Drop them in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tech updates. Until next time, peace out. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy A54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy A55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy A55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variance in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models, SM A556B, SM A556E, and SM A556E underscore DS. The SM A556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaked renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors. Awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleek metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3. 
8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. Speculations point towards a 6.5-inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now, let's talk about performance. The Galaxy A55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now, it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new Soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Eclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy A55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The A54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A55 might continue to use the same 32-megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy A54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 VLU fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements.